Hey everybody, today we're going to install the Gigabit Desktop PCI Adapter. Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike and I'm here to help you get more out of networking. So here at D-Link we're known for uh, making wireless networking products. We're always talking about, you know, wireless this and wireless that. But um, there is call for wired networking. Um, one of these is, let's uh, say your, where your cable modem or DSL modem comes into your office, you have your router and you normally have a PC right there. Well, there's no reason to really you know, connect that computer wirelessly. It's more cost effective and you'll get more speed by using uh, something like a gigabit ethernet adapter, especially if you have a router like the DIR655 Extreme N gigabit router, then you're getting the best bang for your buck when you're connecting to say the DNS 323, which has a gigabit port also. So you're going gigabit to gigabit to gigabit. You're not having to slow down um, for a wireless connection. Um, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to install the DGE 530T gigabit desktop PCI adapter. So let's go ahead and take a look inside the box. Inside the package, you'll find the adapter itself, a low profile bracket, and the documentation. To install the low profile bracket, all you're gonna need is a Phillips screwdriver and the adapter. So if you take your Phillips head and you remove these two screws that you see here on the adapter, you'll be able to put on the low profile. Now that we've removed the old bracket, you just wanna line up these two screw holes with the holes on the adapter itself. Once you have that lined up, then you just take and put the screws back in. So that's how you install the low profile bracket onto the adapter if you have a um, low profile case. Now we're gonna install the software first and then we're gonna install the hardware. So let's go ahead and do that. Start by inserting the installation CD into your CD-ROM drive and letting it auto run. Once the page comes up, you're going to want to select the top option, which is Install Drivers. This will start a short driver installation. When this gets finished, you're going to want to shut down your computer so you can do the hardware installation. So now that we've installed the software, let's go ahead and put the adapter into our computer. Remove the side of your PC and identify an open PCI slot. These are normally white colored. Then remove the slot cover that's adjacent to the PCI slot and insert your adapter by pushing straight down firmly but not too hard and then screw it in place. Then just put the side of the case back on. If your drivers and your hardware are installed correctly, you should see this little bubble pop up when you start up your computer. Well, there you have it. The fastest way to connect to your other wired devices on your network, especially if you have a high-end router like the DIR655 or the DIR855 um, for connecting to things like the DNS323. So if you have a large amount of files that you want to transfer, don't do it wirelessly. Go with Gigabit. It's going to be the fastest connection that you can get. So that's going to do it for this episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike and thanks for watching.